Hello. Hi. So Dave's going to be joining us too. Awesome. Um, Look at your, is that a microphone right there? Um, I have a little earpiece in because my microphone. Oh, I know I have my bike behind me with all my mitts. I'm like, wow, look, I did a call with Sherry like a week or two ago and she had this like fancy microphone and I I thought it's your bike seat. I see. Uh, The the bar mitts for when it's cold. But yeah, no, I'm not that fancy. Um, Dave, do you prefer to just edit or do you want me to pause recording? I'm always afraid I'll forget to unpause. Um, Go ahead and pause it. I'll put her, I'll set myself an alarm. Okay, and we've got four minutes, so I will, I'm going to probably wait till about 7.01 just to, but I can share my little intro because that's got the, okay. So and let me see if I can see, oh, we're up to six participants. So thank you everyone that's joining us. We are very excited to have Don talk about the International Women's Day Together We Ride, and we'll will be starting in a few minutes. But feel free to introduce yourself or say hi in the chat if you have questions for Dawn. Um, I'm actually gonna recommend you just put everything in the chat because at the end of the session, the chat will be downloaded. And we'll have a record of that. We won't have a record of the Q and A. And we did have lovely weather today, but it is supposed to, at least in the Chicagoland area, it seems like it's gonna rain sleet and then be really cold tomorrow. So again, thank you everyone that's joining us already. We are going to wait until about 7.01. Of course, now that I'm sharing my screen, I don't actually. So we've got about three, four minutes and we will get started. So we have a few more joining. Like I said, we will be starting right about 7, 701. So we appreciate all of you coming virtually to us on this Wednesday evening. And if any of you were at the Chicago Winter Bike Swap this weekend, you would have gotten to see all of us, myself and Don and our executive director, Dave Simmons. And our registration uh, does show us uh, the zip code that you're from. But if any of you want to give us a little shout out of your name and what town you're actually from, that would be lovely. And we're going to wait just about two more minutes just to make sure everyone's uh, logged in. However, if you do know someone that should be here this evening and watching this and they weren't able to make it, we are recording it. It's also uh, Facebook Live. So we'll have the video up on our YouTube page probably by tomorrow. Um, And we'll have it both on our YouTube channel and we will have a link on our YouTube. web page for the webinars. And Dawn, I should have asked this before, but I'm assuming we can put a link to the PDF of your presentation on our web page as well, correct? Oh yes, definitely. I assume so, but I realized I forgot to ask that. Yep. Appreciate all the, the shares and likes and we appreciate being here. So thank you. 
Okay, so at seven, I'm gonna just wait one more minute just in case anyone is trying to get in and then we will start. I'll do a brief intro and then we will pass it off to Dawn. We're up to 11. So again, thank you everyone that is joining us. We are going to get started and sorry, I should put, don't expect any phone calls, but I'm gonna put that on. Um, do not disturb, we do have a question. Oh, I can't type in the chat. Melanie here from Tennessee, thank you. Well, if we had a prize for like the, the farthest. Um, but that's wonderful because this is, of course, an international event. So I am going to get started. My name is Gina Kenny. I'm with Ride Illinois, and we are so glad to have you all here this evening. I'm going to introduce Dawn in a, a minute, but first I want to give just a little bit of information about Ride Illinois, just in case you're not already aware. And sorry, the Zoom toolbar is in my way. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Did I skip one? No. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar with us, we are the statewide bicycle advocacy organization. Last year, you can't really see my shirt, was our 30th anniversary. So we advocate for bike-friendly roads, more trails and improved trails, as you can read here, legislation. Um, we're having a big push on education of both cyclists and motorists. And of course, just to share our love of cycling with others. Um, we have a small but mighty staff. Uh, myself and Dave Simmons, our executive director who is on, but didn't wanna show his, his beautiful face this evening. Um, we are the only two full-time staff. And then Ed Barsati is uh, getting very part-time now as our senior consultant. He was our executive director for many years. These are some of our corporate members that are on here. You can find more online and it is through our both individual memberships and corporate members that we are able to do all of the work that we do. And in case you are not already aware of our bike safety quiz, that is a way that we are able to educate kids, adults, um, as well as motorists about some of the, the safety rules. And it's presented in a quiz format. So if you know the answer, it's just gonna progress you on. And if you're not sure of the concept, it's gonna provide you some more information to, to educate you on that. One of the things that Dave started uh, soon after he began as our executive director was the Ride Illinois community. And basically it's, Yes, we're an advocacy organization, and yes, we want people to become members, but we also just want to grow the Ride Illinois community, the bicycling community. So we want to connect with all adults and kids who ride a bike across the state. These are some of the ways that you can support our organization. Uh, like I mentioned before, we do appreciate you becoming members because that is how we're able to do our work. But we also want you to ride often, you know, be a good ambassador, follow the rules of the road, promote us to your friends as well as the bike safety quiz. And you know, we're statewide, but we have a small staff. So if you have suggestions or concerns in your area, please reach out to us and let us know. You can email us at info at rideillinois.org, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, as I mentioned, become a member. Uh, this is both mine and Dave's contact info. If you send um, an email to info at rideillinois.org, that will also go to both of us. So as I mentioned, kind of as people coming on, um, we are recording this webinar. It will be on our website, on our YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the, the chat, or if you're not able to type into the chat, put it in the Q&A, we will monitor that as well. And I am going to stop sharing. Um, so we are so pleased to have Dawn join us today. I can't remember, we met with for the Illinois Bike Summit, correct? Correct, yep. So wonderful woman doing a lot to promote cycling in general, as well as to women. And we are just 
thrilled to have her. She spoke at our Illinois Bike Summit, as I just mentioned, but we're thrilled to have her come out and speak more about this. So on that note, would you like to start sharing? Sure. Oh, and we have someone from Schaumburg and someone from Lincolnshire, but is currently in Palm Desert, California. Mm. Okay, Don, I'll let you take it away. Well, thank you so much, Gina. I appreciate that uh, invitation. Thank you, Dave Simmons, the Ride Illinois Board of Directors and Ride Illinois Community. I appreciate this opportunity to be here tonight and to share what we collectively have built together, uh, International Women's Day Together We Ride. So I hope it's going to be a, a great evening. It should uh, generate some interest. And I'm looking forward to this evening with you all. So thank you for your time and for this opportunity to be here. Again, I'm the founder of International Women's Day Together We Ride and Inspired Movement, which is a 501c3 that I started in October of 2021. Talk a little bit about that in a little bit, but first thing is uh, just go through an agenda. I'm going to give a brief history of International Women's Day. I'm gonna explain how this started. Uh, we're coming on our fourth year in a few weeks. And again, how this started and then do a brief breakdown of each of the first three years. I think it's important to kind of see the growth of the event, what we added, adding team members and things so you can appreciate where we started and where we're going. Um, some collaborations we've had locally and internationally. I'll talk about how you guys can get involved in your local region, how you can participate, give you some resources, and then talk about some of the swag and goodies we have available if people wanted to purchase. We'll talk about some partnership sponsorship opportunities for people that might be interested. And very exciting this year, we're going to talk about the Together We Inspire initiative. We're very excited about that. And uh, when I get to that, we have a lot of great things we're going to share. Um, we have a silent auction coming up this year. And then we're going to talk about, as the Together We Inspire initiative, some charitable donations that we're looking to fundraise for. So let's begin this journey. And actually, sorry, Don. So apparently, we are having chat issues. So please feel free to use the Q and A, and we'll make sure to just copy them if we don't get to all the questions at the end. Okay, sounds good. So International Women's Day was celebrated. It's celebrated every year on March eighth. The first one actually was celebrated in 1911, eight years before the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote in the United States. And basically, this event started the campaign for women's rights around the world. Again, so this isn't just the United States, this is international, but it's big, really become a rally for worldwide gender equality. And you see here a picture of Tessie Reynolds. Uh, Tessie Reynolds was an uh, English cyclist, and the photo of her at age 16 in 1893, she set a record cycling. 120 miles in eight hours and 30 minutes. And again, it was in 1893. Look at her attire and things like that. But the bicycle was a catalyst for the early women's movement. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. You always saw a picture of a woman on a bike, which, which began to emerge to show freedom and independence. So how did we get here? Well, I always think of this as there's cataclysmic events in your life, things that happen that kind of open the door. And for me to get to where we're at today, four years into this beautiful, beautiful gift that we have of for Together We Ride, it started with five events. The first seed that was planted in 2015, I qualified and completed a Grand Randonnée, which is a long distance cycling event. And um, it's in Paris, it's held every four years. And what I noticed there uh, when I checked in is there was a very low percentage of women of the entire field of participants in 2015, about five to 6% were, were female. So out of 6,500 participants, there were probably 293 women. So that was kind of like the first thing. Um, I would see women, I would connect with them. We couldn't speak the same language maybe, but I would you know, make a notion to them and do a power. You know. So that was the first seed that was planted. The second seed that was planted a few years later is I got connected to Homestretch Foundation and Catherine Burtoning, who is a big social activist, a former professional woman cyclist, who wrote some very well-known books, Stan, The Road Less Taken, As Good as Gold, and Half the Road. So again, 
2015, not seeing as many women at Paris Press Paris, getting connected to Homestretch and Catherine Burtonine. Again, I recommend all of her books. In fact, she just wrote a new one called Stand. Wonderful things. And so that started the wheels to turn for me. So between the years of 2016 and 2019, I annually completed a solo ride at International Women's Day. I would ride each year by myself. I would think of the women in my life that inspired me uh, in the past and looking to the future as a woman. And in addition, I was very blessed in 2017, uh, I, J&R Cycle and uh, Villa Park were, was very supportive of some of my ideas. And I started, it's called Women Plus Wheels Equals Wonderful. And that photo on the bottom right-hand side was the first event. And it was basically held on Women's Equality Day. So we basically put an event out via Eventbrite and invited people through our local clubs and people showed up. And it was a great day. We had some swag, we had some networking, some cookies and soda, and it was just a great day. So again, those are kind of the first four seeds that were planted. Another thing that happened, uh, the fifth seed was November, 2019, through March 2020, I started a cycling challenge with the Elmhurst Bicycle Club, which is part of the greater Chicagoland region. I basically said, again, keeping in mind Paris Press Paris, uh, Catherine Burtoning, Homestretch, I went to my club and I said, I'm gonna designate two weekly rides, Wednesday evening and Sunday afternoon. Again, this is through the dead of winter. So recognizing it would be hard for people to get out, but wanting people to push the boundaries. Each member that showed up, it was open to the whole club, no matter if you are male or female or any agender. Anyone that showed up, I personally donated to Homestretch Foundation. So for every woman that showed up in that time frame, I donated $1.66. And for every male that showed up through that time frame, I donated a dollar. People might wonder, why is the difference? Well, that's the gender pay gap that's present at that time and is still present today. So it was a wonderful initiative. And again, asking people to give back by moving forward together, pedal forward together. So with that, I kind of started to think about how I could invite more people to this yearly ride I did by myself for International Women's Day. And I opened it up in 2020 to my friends, to local bike clubs, and also to the Randoneering community I belong to as well, which is Randoneers USA. So basically I said to people, ride on Sunday, March 8th, which is International Women's Day. They had to ride on that one day only. And I had we had three distance options, a 25K, a 50K and a 100K option, okay? And that was a free event and basically said, show up, do a ride, share it. And if you were interested, we had these patches made. So this is the first year in 2020, we had patches or badges made. They were called persistent badges of honor. And we also had a cycling cap, cap available to those who are interested. Again, this was open to everyone. Also in, included the randoneering community, which is throughout the United States. And that's one of the big key points why this went grew pretty quickly and I'll talk about that in a second. So what happened? Our first year we had 10 regions within my organization for randoneering participate. We had approximately 275 to 300 people. We had international representation from Austria, France, India, and United Kingdom. And then US representation from 19 states. So again, just this little thing that started out as a little bike ride grew pretty quickly. And some of that initiative and that flame was randoneering throughout the United States. We opened it up to people in other states and that really helped it grow. But again, you can see the photo. This is in India, Audax Club, men and women participating in the event, which was pretty special to see. So the next year in 2021, we actually then expanded. I was very blessed to collaborate and invite a few other women to assist with this because as it grew so quickly, I invited Sherry Rosenbaum, Kelly Morgan and Kim Messina to be part of the team. What I did in the second year, what we did is we increased the dates, not just the one day, but we incorporated dates before International Women's Day. So we had 
four dates and any distance counted. And that was new because the first year I had people contacting me from California saying, well, I mountain bike, so I can't do a 25K or a 50K or 100K. And I thought, oh yeah. And then I thought, thankfully for this feedback, well, how is a family going to do it with a little kid? They're not going to do a 25K. So then I, we revamped it from the feedback given from participants, any distance counted. We still encourage people to share via a Facebook group or email with us. We still had a patch, Persistence Badge of Honor, which you see on your screen. That was for the second year. And then we also incorporated a face mask as part of that and had some stickers. But again, it was open to everyone. And then we also had a meditation session and invited Adina Crawford um, to be part of that. And it was very well attended. So what was the results from our second year? Well, we had five regions within Randoneering participate. We tripled our growth to approximately 900. Our international representation increased from four in 2020 to 11 to include Lithuania, Portugal, Dubai, Trinidad and Tobago, South Africa, the Netherlands, England, and Germany. I mean, it was just miraculous to see the power of social media that helped this really continue to grow. Our US representation, as you can see, grew from 19 to 33 states as the word got out. And again, it was just really fun. And you can see the photo there, a woman from Lithuania who was riding in honor with her Lithuanian flag for her mother and um, grandmother. In 2022, uh, the format was similar. We said, you know, any time from the fifth through the eighth, any distance counts, we had some swag as we looked at our third year. Um, you can see the patch had a little bit of a different design. We always try to incorporate purple or a version of purple because purple is the color of equality. And again, we opened it up to everyone. So for our third year, any distance counted, we had a four day window and opened it up to everyone. And you'll see um, on the bottom right is we had a persistence uh, empowerment buff as well. We, in we increased the meditation sessions with Adina Crawford. Again, you can see Adina here. She did two sessions um, and every participant in both of those sessions was put in a raffle. We have a local artist and participant who attended since 2020, Mary Ellen Reedy, who is a fabulous artist and a fabulous cyclist and just well, wonderful person who do donated two prints that we raffled off to all participants in our session. And you can see the beautiful prints on the bottom left-hand side. Um, so we had a really nice, well-attended series for both of those. And Adina, I'll be glad to say, is back again this year, but did a really nice meditation session. We hope some of you will join us for that. So in 2022, again, having uh, three other team members, we, we increased our growth. You can see there uh, the QR code. That's actually for the website. We then became a 501c3 in October of 2021. We actually have a website with a store. We developed a, a event Instagram account, a Twitter account, a Strava group account, and then also a LinkedIn account. So again, a lot of growth in 2022. So what was our results from all of this growth? Well, we estimated that we had about 1,100 to 1,200 people participating. It's really hard for us to get exact numbers because we don't have a way people can register or really follow other than sharing on Facebook, Strava, Instagram at this point, but we're looking to improve that for next year. US rep states represented was 28. And again, international representation, you can see we had Bangkok, Trinidad and Tobago again, we had um, Morocco, Belize, Mexico, India, Canada, London, it just continues to grow. The age range was interesting. The youngest was four months old on a little strider bike with a mom holding in their in their uh, kitchen. And the oldest was 87 years young. Our 28 states, you can see it there, it continues to grow every year. And so we're so excited for this growth. And you can kind of see the photo on the right is a woman in India participating with her friends. Um, so again, resiliency, courageous and very determined individuals are part of our movement and it's for everyone. And I'll say it takes a village. This is not something that 
I do by myself. I have a great, great team. Um, we have Kelly Morgan. Uh, we have uh, Sherry Rosenbaum, Adina Crawford, Kim Messina. Um, and we just have a whole group. And I'll show the, the middle photo on the top is actually then our artist and extraordinaire uh, a participant, Mary Ellen Reedy as well. But it takes a village. It's not just us. It's the community. It's everyone that's participating in this movement. So what's going on for this year, 2023? Our motto is year four is going to be better than even before. And we know it's going to be true because the format's the same. Ride between Wednesday, March 8th through the 12th. Any distance counts. Indoors, outdoors. Any bike, any terrain. It doesn't matter. Just ride. We have a persistence badge of honor, as you can see there. Um, we also have some com other commemorative items for sale I'll talk about in a second. We had a raffle at some of the uh, events we've been at recently. We'll have a silent auction as well. And again, we're also having our Together We Meditate session led by Adina Crawford on Sunday, March 12th at 6 p.m., which is open to everyone. Again, it's an inspired movement for all. You have your eight month old on the left and on the, the tandem there, you can see that is a woman in Texas who every year, she's 94 in that photo and that was last year, she rode with her daughter to have her cupcake and has, you can't see her little badge, but I sent her a badge because she was so cute with her helmet, but it's open for everyone. Uh, very, very proud uh, to have Black Girls Do Bike Chicago part of our, our coalition and community since 2021. And again, everyone, not just in the United States, international. It's an inspire movement for all, and we want you to join us. We want you to find rhythm with us, find rhythm and unity with us, because we have space for you and everyone at our table. Get involved and connect with us. As I mentioned, we have a, we're a website, uh, we have an Instagram, lots of ways to stay connected. And I love this photo. We were really uh, excited to be at the Philadelphia Bike Expo last fall. And we spent a few days there and had a booth of collaboratively with Black Girls Do Bike and had a presentation there. And the vibe and the community was just great. This woman walked up and had her Wonder Woman. And again, we're all kind of Wonder Women or Supermen, right? But she just had the attire and she was just so appreciative to pose for me. But again, this is what it's about. The power of community, get involved and be part of our movement. So how can you get involved? I've talked about different ways. Well, super easy. Host a ride in your area. I understand this time of the year is hard. March is hard in certain parts of the world and the United States, but you can ride indoors. Uh, share this with your friends, with your family, with organizations. People say to me, well, I don't have a bike. I go, well, do you go to a gym? Oh yeah, I go to a gym and I spin. I go, you can do that. You can rent a bike. Uh, there's e-bikes. You know, there's a lot of shared bike programs. Um, this is actually a really nice, you can take this opportunity right now and scan the QR codes. The top QR code is for our, uh, is our website. And then the bottom three you'll see from left to right is the Facebook page, Instagram, and then our Strava account. And what you can do to help us is share. Like and share is the way that things get out. Our movement would have never grown as it has if it hasn't been for the like and share from all of you participating. So again, please share our movement and be part of it. And I'm going to just interject and say, if you're not able to get your phones out really quickly now, like I will make sure this is a link to this presentation is on our website tomorrow morning. So if you're fumbling with your phone, if your phone's not charged, you can always just go to our website tomorrow and scan the codes then too. Yeah, and thanks, Gina. And this is de definitely, again, wanted people to take the opportunity, if you can, just join us in any way that you feel comfortable. And it's not just for those that, if people, you know, people connect with us and say, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Instagram or Strava, I said, that's okay. So people will email me, email us at, uh, and I'll tell you the email in a little bit at the end, their movement with a story. And that's okay too. You don't have to be on social media. And that's why having the website with a link to this event really, really helps get the word out for those that aren't on social media. So again, be part of our movement. And we ask people every year, we say, who do you ride for? Who inspires you? 
And what would you ride your bike ride for International Women's Day for? I love this photo. This was just, if you go to our Facebook page, for those of you on Facebook, it was about two weeks ago. This is Roberta and her 91-year-old mother, Eileen. And her mother was an educator and they had this great interview. And Roberta asked her mom and said, who would you ride for? Well, her mom's a retired educator. And she said, women who are educators. So again, we're asking people to be part of this movement and ride for someone or a cause that's so important to you. These are available on our website. You can download the PDF and fill it out the day that you do a ride. We encourage you to, to take the opportunity of that. We have a lot of opportunities to partner with us. Again, be, since we are a non-for-profit and, non and a 501 c 3 we're open to, um, we have five different sponsorship levels. Uh, we also have some, receive some in-kind donations um, from organizations and individuals. Uh, we also are looking for anyone in, in the corporate sponsorship or individual par partnership levels. Um, so again, please reach out to us on the website. There's also a page where you can look at those different levels. I encourage you to. It, and Jen, just reach out to us. The email is iwdbike at gmail.com. Reach out and we can discuss how we can incorporate some of maybe your feedback or what you'd like to see happen as part of our movement. Together We Ride, it's a free event. But if you like goodies, we've got you covered. Buy something for yourself. Maybe buy something for your favorite cyclist, a family member, a friend, and get ready for the upcoming cycling season. So we were really excited uh, under the leadership of Sherry Rosenbaum. Uh, we worked with Jewels Threads, which is a woman's owned uh, clothing, cycling clothing company based in Florida, and produced these beautiful jerseys. Um, the window for the jersey the buff and t-shirt has closed, but we're looking to see if there's interest to possibly open it again. But again, you'll see the jersey is just fantastic and has our four values for which are very important to us, which are equality, respect, hope, and perseverance. So um, stay tuned and, and, and reach out to us if you're interested in, in that. And again, we have a gator as well that has the same uh, kind of words on it in purple and this t-shirt as well. Uh, the t-shirts are unisex, but again, we're looking to open the store hopefully very soon, so stay tuned. In addition to that, we have some stickers. Uh, again, keeping in line with our four values, they're empowerment stickers available on our website for those that are interested. We have- And I'm gonna say she did send me a sample and they <laughs> are incredibly awesome. They are, I have to say, uh, the, they're, they're American made. Uh, there is a gentleman in Iowa who has um, done such a fabulous job. Joe's t Design T-shirts in Iowa did a fabulous job and they, they're great on your Yeti and anything. So th thanks for that shout out, Gina. Um, and you'll see a persistence badge, badge of honor and then the stickers. So we have something available for everyone if, if you're interested in some really cool swag, if I do say so myself. We have an empowerment package and we'll be uh, raffling off two of these uh, tonight to all participants. The, our empowerment package includes the persistence badge of honor and then the stickers. So those are available for purchase on our website. But again, we have two lucky winners that will be winning uh, each of these tonight. And they're really great. Well, again. Sorry, I was going to say we're going to probably do it like tomorrow morning. So if you are the lucky winner, we will be emailing you and make sure that we have your full address because right now we just have email and zip code. But yeah, I didn't want to detract from any of the questions and thing to have us worry about the raffle during this time frame. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, Gina, for clarifying that. Appreciate it. So again, the Together We Inspire initiative, um, we've had this a few of these a part of the previous years, but what we're asking people to do is just inspire. Inspire in your home, inspire in your family and your community. So we're asking people from March 8th through the 12th during our movement and throughout the year, truth be told, support a woman's own business on your event, on your bike ride. If you ride at home or at a spin class, go to a woman's own business afterwards and thank them for having their business. Support a woman's own bike shop. We in Chicago have a few, and again, we're really trying to collaborate with these because there's not many women-owned bike shops, so please support them. If you can't go to them, send them an email. Tell them they're appreciated. It will go so far. Support a woman's shelter. We actually are collaborating with some local coffee houses and some breweries to develop a 
theme Together We Inspire Coffee or Beer and donate to a woman's shelter in the name of International Women's Day. We're asking people to highlight a significant woman's historical site or person during your bike ride or during the, those days. And then again, as we talked about riding in honor of someone or a cause that inspires you. I don't know, but I think I need about 4,000 of those papers because a lot of inspiring people out there. Silent Auction is new this year. We're very excited. Uh, it's the first one. We're, we've secured a website via Better World, which is our host site. We're finalizing the details, but the, it will begin Wednesday, February 22nd through March 12th. Uh, preliminary auction items include, we have a quilt, as you can see on the top right, which is um, from a local uh, quilter and who's also a uh, woman cyclist in our area. The two shoes there, and I have better photos, I apologize, I didn't upload those, but you'll see those on the website. Those Mary Ellen Reedy, who did the two pieces last year for the, for the uh, meditation session, has custom made Converse high tops. And again, they are just extraordinary beautiful. So there's also two items in the auction. We have a Showers Pass gift card, two different gift cards. We have a custom bike rack being built for our event with our logo etched in it. We have a beautiful art piece on the bottom right donated by a nurse at Edward Hospital and more to come. So stay tuned for all that, but it's gonna be really, really exciting. And we hope you guys would be part of that as well. We also in this together, we inspire, we're doing a uh, fundraising goal this year. We're hoping to raise from the sale of all the, the patches, stickers, t-shirts, buffs, and from the silent auction, we're hoping to raise $330. Um, any donations received are tax deductible. Um, and we've, we've really taken the time to look at two causes that we think are very important. And I'm gonna highlight those. The first one is a, the first charitable uh, donation will be for World Bicycle Relief. World Bicycle Relief is here in Chicago, but is international. And World Bicycle Relief, we're hoping to raise $165 to build a Buffalo bike. For those of you not familiar, a Buffalo bike, as you see in the photo on the bottom right, um, is a not a typical bike. It's a very heavy bike, but it's designed for people who have to travel long distances over rugged terrain to get from point A to B to either get food to their family, water, groceries, it's a strong and simpler sustainable bike that can withstand harsh conditions. So with the rider, the Buffalo bike is a really fierce force for change. And, and we're really hoping to, to achieve that goal to build one Buffalo bike to a woman or girl um, through World Bicycle Relief. We're very excited. And then the second program is the Shilhasen bike program, which is located in Indian Wells, Arizona in the southwestern region of Arizona and the Navajo Nation. We're looking to, I connected a few years ago with Claudia. If you look on the photo on the, the right, she, that's Claudia. She is the, runs that program. And we've been connected over the past three years. And they basically have a program. Their bike program is to positively support the development of their youth and the community through exercise and biking. They want to basically support and promote healthy lifestyles, and we're hoping to raise the equal amount of $165 toward their initiatives. Um, they have local bike trails that they're developing throughout the reservation. They have a bike maintenance program that they're teaching the kids to take care of the bikes. Um, and then they have a tour of Shulhasen, which is in, on the Indian reservation, which is open to everyone to attend. So again, those are our two charitable donations that we're hoping to raise money for. We're very excited about that. So what is our hope for Together We Ride? Well, our hope is a world free of bias, of stereotypes and discrimination. We're looking for a very diverse world, one that's equitable and that's inclusive to everyone. We want to value differences and celebrate that. And together we can forge women's equality because together we ride. So stay tuned to some more initiatives coming later in 2023. I want to say we just launched today our first uh, video via YouTube. So we hope you would check out our YouTube channel. And then to keep the momentum going throughout the year, we're going to every eighth of the month have a, a kind of a hashtag, make it great on the eighth, 
And basically once a month have initiative to have people share inspiring stories with us and then some give a give back to people that share with us. So stay tuned with that. And again, I'd also encourage you to check out if those on social media, our Facebook page and our Together We Ride Instagram page and join our community so you can stay in tune with some of these initiatives we have. I appreciate you being here with us today um, so we can share Together We Ride. Um, like us and share us to help spread our word. I appreciate, I want you to stay connected with us, stay engaged with us, send us an email. Again, help us build our momentum. We can't do this alone. We appreciate all that you've done to give us this opportunity to speak tonight because none of us can move forward if we're not moving forward together. We are stronger together and we invite you to work with us and be a part of our community and positivity. So come join us March 8th through March 12th. Again, be part of our movement. Together we ride, be part of our inspired movement. And again, this is a great show. We were honored to be at CABDA and this is myself and our team members, uh, Sherry, Kim, Kelly, and myself at our booth. And uh, it was great to collaborate with Dave and Gina and, and be part of this movement. So I, I ask you to continue to be part and be a participant. And I wouldn't want to just take the opportunity to thank the sponsors, our 2023 sponsors and partners, Falls Creek Outfitters, JNR Cycle, Edward Elmhurst Healthcare, Showers Pass, Jules Threads, P.O. Campo Bags, Olive and Binnies, and Bobble Hats. Thanks for being here tonight. I'm excited that we had this opportunity to share our, our movement with you. Thank you, Ride Illinois, for your what you do. Thank you and congratulations on your 30th anniversary. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity so for being here. So thank you so, so much. And I did learn that Dave does have a fancy wheel thing that he will be able to do the, the raffle now. And those pictures are awesome. And I want to throw out there that the last day of Together We Ride is also my birthday. So <laughs> I think even if you if you were on the fence of whether you wanted to ride for this, you know, Saturday, it's going to be a gorgeous day, of course, and, and you can celebrate me getting rather old this year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a big celebration in your honor, Gina. I love it. That's great. And if for some reason you cannot find their email or any other way to get the the, your pictures and stuff in, you can always feel free to send it to us too, because we're going to have to share some of them as well. And I will, of course, uh, share a photo of me riding. So I know we, we are so sorry about the technical difficulties with the, the chat, but we do appreciate those that are, are typing it in uh, to the Q&A for us. So at this point, um, if you have a question, you can type it into the Q&A, you can raise your hand and we can unmute you. And let me see if, uh, I believe, Dave, are you working on the, the raffle for us? I your... have Wheel of Names ready to go. Oh, so, so Dawn, whenever... do you want to stop sharing and we can, Dave is our, our tech guru and besides just being our executive director extraordinaire. And um, you can't chat, but we, we can. So Dave has put... Lots of links on there about women-owned bike shops or a couple women-owned bike shops, Insta your Instagram page. I think he'd also did Facebook. Um, yes, and your website. All right, give me a second here and we can do... Dawn, you said you're doing two prize packs, am I? Yes. Yeah. All right, so Wheel of Names, just so everybody knows, this is free. This is pretty slick. I just pasted the names of the folks who are currently on. So a few folks dropped off, so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shuffle this, so we'll shuffle it a couple times and I'm gonna click it. Wow, this is great, nice. All right, it looks like Melanie. Oh, Yay, Melanie! Melanie. All right, oh, sorry, remo removed you, Melanie, can't win twice. Um, Okay. All right. And we have uh, Melanie and Connie's email. Um, we can share that with you. Is that how you'd like to do it, Don? 
yeah, that sounds great. And we'll get those uh, empowerment packages out to both of them. All right, there you go. That's great. So I don't see a lot of questions, but again, so you don't have to feel that you have to organize this great big huge ride right this is we want women but everyone to go out and ride and fill out the form which i believe i have one because she sent us some stuff um and share it on their facebook page or instagram or email them the idea is to get as many people out and i think the the 330 dollars that seems like a very modest goal so i'm assuming we can, everyone's gonna help you out. If just everyone here that was on the webinar decided to pitch in a few bucks, as well as all the people that are watching this on Facebook and on YouTube, um, that seems like a very good goal. Yeah, yeah, and I and we appreciate you know we we appreciate any uh, any support. Uh, again, we're you know any support helps um, that people feel comfortable. But we're excited. And I feel that I feel confident that our, our US international community will come through and we'll be able to reach our goal. Um, it's pretty inspiring and to have a goal and to be able to give back. So with what we've created. So thank you for that. And on March 11th, Fox Valley Bike and Ski Club uh, did post that they're hosting a ride in Batavia. And Emily wants to know if there's a Facebook event for the ride. So you have a Facebook group, I believe. Yeah, if people um, want to create events in the Facebook group, they're more than welcome to do that. Uh, I think they can create uh, events through there. So we, we welcome that. Uh, or people can people have done that, or they will post in the Facebook group and then get a group going that way. So anyway, they can use the Facebook community to engage riders in their area. Um, they can reach out to us as well, and we can collaborate with them on some local rides we have going on in this area as well. So whatever we can do to help, again, Facebook page, email us, and we'll make sure we get connected together so we can make it work. Oh, and Melanie, thanks for um, winning it. And she said it was wonderful to see you um, at Capta. Oh, yes. Melanie, I think Melanie, uh, a good story about Melanie is I walked in at Cabda the second day was my birthday and I walked in and I saw her working and she serenaded me for with a birthday song. And I think that's right when Dave walked up. Dave, you kind of walked up, you heard someone singing and it was great. So Melanie. Oh, yes. Yep. And Melanie won one of our posters last year. So Melanie should be playing the lottery because she wins every year with us. She's a winner anyways, but she she's she's lucky <laughs> um so again you can post a, a question in the q a or you can raise your hand and we can unmute you i think oh i have to click done so that it, it shows me that we've answered the questions So for those of us that are not into the randoneering, how much is, now I, I think 100K is around 60 something miles, but how much is 25K, 50K and 100K? Oh, uh, so you do like what, 15, 17 miles, 32 miles or 62 miles. So, but and yeah. And of course was, um, you can go any distance you want, even if you're having your little kid go on the strider in the kitchen. But as soon as you mentioned that, my, my mind was curious and I, I didn't want to Google it while we were in the webinar. Yeah. So, so randoneering is all in kilometers, which it, for people, you have to kind of convert it, but it is a little, but, but this, any distance counts, any bike, any, uh, actually I, the hospital I work at has spin classes. They're hosting three spin classes at they, they already have it there at the health club. So it just, it's so flexible and we're asking people to just, you know, get on people have Pelotons now get on your Peloton or, or whatever. And if you can't, for whatever reason, medical reason, you can't be part of the day, thank a woman's business, go to donate to a woman's shelter. Again, be part of our movement, even if you can't get on the bike, but we prefer if you be on the bike with us and, and Bride Illinois has done a great job and, and it's making the streets safer for all of us. So I definitely commend you guys and what you've done for, for all of Illinois and throughout the United States on your advocacy efforts. So. Thank you. And since we do have a few minutes, you, the picture of you with your fat bike, from what I understand, you did one of these long races on your fat bike, didn't you? 
Yeah, I've uh, her name. I, I, I her name is Big Mama. That's my Surly Moonlander. Yeah, her name. I did um, a few years ago. I did a super randomier series on my fat bike, which is like 200k, 300, 400, and 600k. So 600k is like 375 miles. So um, yeah, it, it was a long day in the saddle, but it, it still was fun, you know. So I don't know, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun bike to ride. So but her so hopefully we'll all get a chance to ride together and we can share our bikes and Big Mama. But she's a, she's a great bike. That is from this past summer, but. Oh, and of course, Elmhurst Bicycle Club will be posting social rides on several days, March 8th through March 12th. Thank you, Kim. Uh, the plan is to stop at women-owned businesses. Go to elmhurstcycling.org for details. Um, oh, and Melanie, she has not had any luck on the lottery thus far. So apparently she's just really lucky with, with you, Dawn. Well, she could go on, uh, what is, uh, she can go on that, you know, the singing, the voice and she could do well because she has a really good voice. Anyways. Yeah. Um, and yes, as Sherry mentioned, so the people that are watching this on Facebook Live or if they're watching it recorded on YouTube, they are not going to see the questions and answers. So I'm, the Trek Highland Park ride will be on March 11th. So I'll mention that as well. And the Moonlander, what's the width of those tires? Uh, they're 4.3. 4.3, because I have a pug that's three, and then I have a, a fat bike that's 4.6. So in comparison, I know regular mountain bike tires are about two, 2.4. Forest road bikes are, are very, very tiny. So yeah, she, she was putting forth a lot of expert or a lot of effort, but I'm sure it was a lot of fun. Um, we are about... 745. So if there are more questions or comments, uh, feel free to post them up. Otherwise, um, you can always reach out to Dawn via email or via social media, or you can reach out to us. Um, I will be doing a mountain bike ride on my birthday. Well, probably every day during that. So I'll try to take photos. But yes, it is definitely much harder to do some of those distances on dirt um, than on pavement. Oh, let me, uh, let me, I'm sorry, just got a text from, we are, actually are working on a ride spot, um, having a challenge with them. So just FYI, that's something else I didn't have a chance um, for people that are aware. Uh, one of our team members is working on that. So stay tuned uh, to our website, Facebook, and Instagram for more details on that. Okay, well, we have no open questions. I don't see anyone raising their hands. Um, didn't know if Dave wanted to chime in with anything or if Dawn, you have any last thoughts for us? No, I, I wanna say I really appreciate this opportunity. Uh, myself and my team members, the community are for Together We Ride. We appreciate you showcasing what we've built again collectively together this isn't some it's is something we've all built so I, I appreciate this and we look forward to having it continue to grow with you all being part of our movement so thank you again for this opportunity well half of our staff is female um and we're trying to grow the community in general so yes obviously we we want to grow all aspects of that and it's always right around my birthday so how can i not yes yes Okay, I think we might have had one last question or comment. Oh, thank you for the information. So thank you everyone so much for joining us this evening. Again, um, we will have the video on our website and on YouTube soon, as well as with our presentation. So if you weren't able to scan any of those codes, um, you can check that out then as well as her contact info. And if for some reason your computer's having a glitch or we're having a glitch like the chat, feel free to always reach out to us too and we will make sure that we can get you in contact with Dawn. Well, again, thank you everyone so much for joining us. We will um, get those, she'll get those packages out to our two lucky winners soon. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful evening. Okay, good night. Good night.